Hi everyone, uh, welcome to House Talks. Uh, these are all uh, my indoor plants collection. I have a couple of, I think around 40 plants. Some of them are smaller, some of them are you know, the bigger ones. Uh, I really love keeping the indoor plants and this video is about, uh, I want to really share how I really control the fungus gnats. Uh, Almost, I mean, like not 100%, at least 95% I control. So, I want to share uh, the methods I used. Uh, uh, I hope it's really useful for everyone who want to, you know, uh, healthy indoor plants. Uh, this fungus gnats uh, mostly uh, really love the wet areas, uh, moist soil. So, the first and foremost, you know, uh, uh, keep the, uh, the, the top layer of the soil in the pots. Uh, most of the times like you know keep it dry if it is uh, really wet and moist and there we are welcoming the fungus gnats fungus gnats really love the wet areas and moist soil and uh, the first you know first and foremost uh, how to identify you know that we have fungus gnats in the home or not so it's a, it's a it's a it's a basic thing uh, you just you know go to it's a systematic thing you know pro monitoring the plants you know just go to the plants area you know have a cup of coffee watch them you know shake it the pot you see that uh, bl black small uh, flies are flying around the plants then that's the indication that we have fungus gnats in the home so so the next step is how to uh, the control the fungus gnats. So to control the fungus gnats, uh, uh, so why 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 we need to worry about the fungus gnats? Uh, the the there are two things actually. The when we talk about the fungus gnats, uh, the adult fungus gnats that we see, you know, flying around the plants. Sometimes you know, flying around our faces. It's so annoying, but it's mostly you know, uh, flying around the plants. Those are the adult ones. It's not really harmful. Uh, but the big threat, the real threat comes when that adult uh, fungus gnats, you know, uh, uh, lay down on the wet soil and lay, lay down the eggs, then the, the eggs, you know, latch and becomes larvae and uh, that is the biggest threat for the plant, you know, it try to damage the root system of the plants, more specifically the younger plants. So that's the biggest threat and you see that, you know, health of the plants will go down slowly. So we have to take care of uh, the fungus gnats in two ways. One is the killing all the adult fungus gnats. The second one is uh, uh, stopping uh, the the you know the emerging the larvae as adult from the soil. So we have to take action from both sides, killing adults as well as the babies. Uh, let's see. I'll just explain what I did and how I controlled. So to kill the adult fungus gnats uh, the best way is uh, uh, using the sti sticky traps so sticky traps you know comes uh, you know like mostly in yellow color and these are the ones it goes directly like you know you can see here like this and the other one I personally prefer uh, going you know these kind of uh, sticky traps because it gives some kind of you know the angle and position to stick into the smaller parts so that's the best way you know and moreover you know if you plant is a little bigger and you want to put you know sticky trap like so you can extend the height of the sticky trap then you can you know just put it the sticky trap that's the way so the this this design really the helpful you know to put it like angle the sticky traps like multiple so if the plant is uh, really big you can easily you know put multiple areas uh, the angle you want it, it it helps definitely to you know uh, place how you want these sticky traps So another another option to kill the um, adult fungus gnats is uh, uh, the hydrogen peroxide, but it works only when the fungus gnats you know contact the solution. So how to use? Uh, make sure that you buy 
uh, a three percent uh, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, so, take one or two parts of uh, hydrogen peroxide and the three parts of the water, mix it, and uh, you know, just uh, water the plant. And it try to kill the adult plants when they contact that area. So now, as we discussed, the biggest threat is uh, uh, gnats, eggs, and larvae. So we have to kill them. Uh, so the the be, to, you know the best solution is the mosquito bits, and this is uh, uh, used for the mosquitoes, but it really works well for you know the fungus gnats larvae too. So the how to use it? Uh, take a, a one by fourth of you know uh, this mosquito bits into the you know like a can. For one gallon can, uh, you can just use uh, you know uh, the one cup and mix it. Keep it for some time. And if you look at this, you know I mixed this like probably one hour ago, and it's concentrated now. Now it's ready to use. Uh, you know I can just water this to the plants. This one I edit later, okay. There are two ways to use uh, mosquito bits, uh, you know, how to apply to the plant uh, to kill the larvae and eggs. And the one uh, is, you know, just um, uh, lay down these granules in the, you know, top layer of the soil in the pot. This will work, uh, uh, it will take some time, but this will work. But uh, I personally do not recommend this because uh, over the period of time it will build the mildew uh, you could see in the you know some of the plants. So you have to clean it again. And if you have you know kids are there in the home, it's not kids safe, you know, they're you know what I mean. So the basically that's it. So I would recommend definitely what you know that mix with water and you know just keep it that mix for like one hour then use that water you know to plant then that will really more effective uh, it to kill the eggs and larvae. Uh, finally what I would like to say is you know to kill the almost like you know 90 percent over 90 percent of the gnats and the adult nets as well as the you know the baby you know eggs all uh, I just follow the combination of methods uh, to kill the you know adult nets use the sticky traps and use the combination of hydrogen peroxide and water and to kill the uh, larvae and eggs you know use the mosquito baits with the water combination and this really will you know almost eradicate you know most of the nets in the home. I hope uh, this video is helpful and if you are watching House Talk channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and like button. Thank you very much.